for their call. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it, my darling. You never go home with the decor material. <laughs> you don't need it. Somebody's coming to have a wedding and I'm cutting the cake. So I asked, are you having your reception? You know, she said, mommy, we are not doing reception. I said, why? She said, because of the deco. I clapped for her. So they are doing pad meal. So right after the wedding, I cut the cake. They shared the pad meal and everybody goes home. My darling, you can go to Mokola. For those of you who do not know Mokola, I don't know how to describe Mokola. Mokola is an open market where we sell everything. You can get very cheap rings. You don't need gold. Uh, the sister of gold, what's the name? The one that is sold at Mokola. Abyssinia. No, not Abyssinia. The one that's Kupa. Kupa. My darling, when you go to Mokola, you get Kupa rings. And when you look at them, they look like real gold. The only thing is that when you are bathing, you remove them because this is real gold and diamond. I can bath with it. I never remove it. But my darling, I got this when I was, is it 25 years in marriage or 30 yeah. years 30, in marriage? 30. This was 30 years. 30 years in marriage. This is what I got. My first, my wedding. It was my mother's ring engagement ring that they gave to us to go and melt even that i think they added a lot of copper to it <laughs> so when i use it within two two weeks the thing is white <laughs> that is what i used until my fifth anniversary i think so so fifth anniversary we got it wasn't even gold. We got something that could the little carrots inside. With a little carrots. That could take us for another five years. So I wore gold rings for the first time when I was ten years in marriage. Wow. That is when we had three sets, two rings, and then uh, two wedding rings and then one engagement ring. So those ones carried me for another 15 years. <laughs> By the 30th year, the Lord has blessed us. My darling, you won't continue not to have money. No. The Lord will bless you as long as there's unity and there's agreement in your marriage and you are able to put your resources together. You can do a lot of things. At the time our daughter was even going to nursery, we didn't have what it takes. We took her to nursery around our neighborhood. When the Lord started blessing us and I started working in the bank, we took her to learning skills, an upper grade. We saved, took her to Morning Star. My darling, it doesn't come within a day. Don't do what somebody else is doing. And I always say that in some families, Auntie A will say, I'm buying drinks. Auntie B will say, I'm doing the pastries. Uncle A will say, I will give the car that you'll be sitting in. Uncle C. So when, finish your own for you. Some people finish your own for you. So when you see these big wedges, my darling, if you are a first generational person in your family, you are your own uncle. You are your own uncle. You are your own, <laughs> your own auntie. Your own, auntie. You are your own grandmother. You you are the one who has to so close for your mother and your father. Your mother be your father-in-law to me. Don't be like everybody else. Go for somebody's ring. We have people here that can take you to bend down. You get nice suits. And people would think that you bought it in Harrods or Macy's in America. Mm -hmm. Wear it. Come and serve water and fruit. Go and start your life. There's no point in borrowing money. Going to rent a hall. Where you somebody came to Reverend Agri. Give me ten thousand to wear. 
I said, Reverend Agri, you should have told the person you're a big fool. <laughs> Meanwhile, they didn't even know where they were going to stay after the wedding. Wow. I don't understand why they both... And these days, the, 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 the trend now is to rent homes. When we have a big space yes. here, I went to somebody's place, a uh, wedding reception. There was no parking. No parking. The place they had rented was so congested. When this place is lying here free, the only thing is that when you have your reception here, you can't serve alcohol. You can't go and serve and uh, play worldly music. That is all. But we have a big place here as a royal that you can come and use as a your as your reception. So don't charge for electricity. Nothing. Nothing. We don't charge for electricity. We don't charge water. We don't charge your guests for using our toilets. You don't pay for instrumentalists. Or chairs. Free. You don't pay for technical people. You don't pay for ushers. I mean, everything is free. You know, in some you, churches, they pay for these things. They pay for these things. In Royal House Chapel, everything is free. You don't pay for the pastors coming to bless your, your wedding. The only thing is that your fifth anniversary when god has blessed you remember all the people who did the free of charge for you and say oh ushers at the time i was having my wedding i didn't have it now god has blessed me take 200 buy some minerals serve your guests hey uh, serve yourselves the pastor who blessed you your 10th anniversary oh uh, reverend kim foley at the time i had my wedding i didn't have it today god has blessed me we are celebrating 10 years. This is 500 for you. Your counselors, at the time you had your wedding, all the 10 weeks or um, how many weeks of counseling was free. Sometimes you did the counseling in their home. They served you water, they served you drink, free of charge. Even some of our counselors help. They pay some of the items, they help. So tomorrow when God blesses you, don't turn your back at them. Come and also, well, I would say come and bless them, but be grateful for what they did for you. So my darling, you don't have money to marry the lady, the lady can. If the lady is the one working and can bring you her cloth, six pieces of cloth, can write a check and say, this is your diary first check it is okay but tomorrow when god blesses you remember the woman who was there for you that brought her jewelry and said use it brought her um cloth seven pieces of cloth and said use it um did what brought her shoes and uh, um, underwear everything to make the thing beautiful even brought you her suitcase please tomorrow and i always say it's here i've said it so many times i can never stop sharing this testimony during my engagement my husband was still in school he wasn't done with the university of ghana he went to my father and said give me the list my father said i know you are still in school just provide whatever you want to do he brought trunk the trunk was sprayed nicely, collected um, cloth from um, his sisters, filled in. Um, somebody gave him, he didn't even have a bank account. Somebody <laughs> gave him check, wrote a big money diary, came to present it. We did the engagement on Saturday, on Monday. I had to return the trunk. <laughs> I, I had to return the six pieces of cloth. cloth. <laughs> uh, return the jewelry. Uh, the check. I had to return it. I returned everything. The only thing that wasn't returned was yourself. <laughs> the only thing that wasn't returned was myself. But this is a man who was going somewhere. When we got married, three years after the marriage, said, get ready, we are going to see at the time i didn't even know what it was got home 
only to realize that he was going to do a repeat of the of the engagement. engagement. My darling, why won't I bow when this man says I should bow? Mm -hmm. Why won't I jump when he says I should jump? We got the, the cloth that was collected from me. Mm -hmm. Those cloth was uh, GTP and the other one. ATL. ATL. That was the cloth I returned. When he was coming back part two, brought me Holland. What? The trunk that was returned, he brought me suitcase. And the suitcase was, I think, a set of four that was put in the in one suitcase. Brought brought my parents um the the money for mother-in-law, money for father-in-law. The diary that he didn't give to me, he gave to me three years after the work, after the engagement, brought everything to me. My darling, women are not stupid and foolish. Yes, during the engagement, you didn't have it. I said you could bring everything. But now I see the money is coming. Mm -hmm. You've changed your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. You've changed your shirt. You've changed your shoes. Now I see the watch you are wearing. Now that God has blessed you and you have a good job, at least return the kindness and return the respect. Wow. Wow, a lot of teaching. You can only get this on Family Life Series, where you get practical lessons for life issues. Well, we'll move on to the next don't, one. Don't, don't, don't get money today, and I'll know that your life is not... No, my darling, if you, you see people who dress well, look at them well, find out where they, they saw their things, Take your wife there for yeah. her measurement mm. to be taken. Yeah. And that is one thing my husband did for me. When we started being blessed, he took me to the tailor, bought fabrics and said, these are the styles I want. Wow. My darling, your mm. wife will bow. Yeah. Now that God has blessed you, you have a laptop, you have uh, an iPad. iPhone. iPhone. iPad. You, 95 inch TV. Are you watching?